and the possession was maintained briefly, but Leeds in a real rush to get the ball back. Bamford from Roberts back heel. Patrick Bamford will carry it, have a crack, and the keeper didn't deal entirely comfortably with that one. Jordi, it spilled from his grasp, but there was nobody in a white shirt following up. Exactly, but it's all about competition for places, pushing each other as Harrison's in there. Oh, he's just pushing as well there, and a real breakdown in communications. That's a real pre-season breakdown in communications <laughs> between defender and keeper, isn't it? it? Certainly is, but it just shows, you can see disappointed Harrison's face there. He thought he should have done better because that's the initial press. That's what we're going to bring to the Premier League. We're not going to change the way we play. Barry Douglas delivers in the in-swing and the headed goal. Oh, headed just wide of goal as it turned out. And that was an excellent opportunity and Casey it was who met the ball well from the corner kick. And um, even a foot on the far post would have knocked that one in for the opening goal of the game. Leads of defending to do in the meantime and suddenly for the first time in the game, Kiko Casilla has to move at a little more than uh, half pace to jump on a ball. It's made easy for them ultimately by a poor cutback and Pablo Hernandez, right place, right time. Brings the ball for Leeds United and now Davis switches play further wide to the left side. Look at the run of Douglas there going outside of Shackleton. Shackleton won't use him, he'll go alone it instead. And having ridden one challenge, saw the opportunity for the shot, couldn't quite get it on target and just pulled it wide. Jack Harrison ball will drop for Tyler Roberts. This is a great opportunity and it forces a good save from the Portuguese goalkeeper there. Tyler Roberts clear sight of goal and kept it down low. Had good power behind the shot, just couldn't get it wide enough for the keeper's dive. Um, so maybe one or two of these players see a chance here to impress as they have a real chance now to even score the opening goal. And they will score the opening goal of the game as well. Leeds rather dragged one side to the other. And Lucas Silva from close range after Amaral nipped in, found him inside the six-yard box. And it's Pacos de Ferreira who take the lead here at Thorpe Arch. Leeds nil, Pacos de Ferreira won. Try and respond quickly. As uh, Tyler Roberts is dropped on the edge of the penalty area. Leeds with a set piece from Douglas. In it goes, and there's an equalising goal. Well done. A swift equalising goal, and Strauk gets in to nod the ball down beyond the dive of the keeper into the back of the net. So the opposition lead lasted but a few moments, and the home team are back on level terms. But Leeds come again with a another a wave of white shirts moving forward on the attack as the ball drops for Pablo Hernandez. And Pablo Hernandez has hit some spectacular goals for Leeds United. That will not be uh, a memorable shot in terms of some of his moments at this football club. As Bamford sees the ball run past Helder Costa and then that is Pablo Hernandez all over, isn't it? Well, if you are worried that maybe the radar was off after seeing that last volley, well, you know, it's right there, it's working, it's fully functioning, and Pablo Hernandez, in typical style, finds the top corner of the net, leads ahead, 2-1. Leeds um, survived a, a little scary moment of possession play there and have almost fashioned a goal in typical Leeds style suddenly at the other end. Well, the ball for a moment was uh, moving around rather nervously in the penalty area from player to player and then at the end of it all, Helder Costa came within a whisker of extending Leeds advantage. Helder Costa in space and drives the ball into the back of the net. Lovely goal from Helder Costa. Well set up as well by the little chipped pass into his path. And Helder Costa uh, capitalises well from Patrick Bamford's ball. And Leeds United extend their advantage, 3-1. So we're into the uh, 
final few seconds of the game and the referee decides that that is very much enough for the afternoon so Marcelo Bielsa can go and shake the hand of the opposition coach and hopefully go back into the dressing room with a little gift that's nice well they're from Porto so one would imagine there must be a bottle of port in that bag mustn't there I'm trying to have a look why is in there Bryn that would be the obvious thing wouldn't it 